Now that we've got the condition the way we want, we need to perform a test cut on the material that this condition has been set up for. At the bottom right of the screen, there are two arrows, and next to them are little patterns representing the square with the triangle in them, which is the cut pattern. This indicates that by pressing the left arrow key, the cutter will cut a single square and triangle pattern. And pressing the right arrow key, the cutter will cut three squares and triangle patterns at different force levels. Let's start by cutting a single square and triangle pattern by pressing the left arrow key. It will show this message, which allows us to use the arrow keys to move the tool head to the location where we want the test cut to be. In this case, we can just press enter and the cutter will cut the test pattern in its current location. After it is done cutting the pattern, it will advance the media so that we can access the pattern. Let's press enter again and the media is once again retracted. We'll remove the media and lay it on a flat surface, such as a tabletop, so we can have a better look, although this process can generally be done on the cutter itself. When checking the test cut pattern, we will first see if the material has been cut cleanly. To do this, remove the outside square. It should come up easily without pulling up the triangle. There will be times though, as you see here, that the triangle will tend to lift. Don't be confused into thinking that the force is too low. This could be the nature of the vinyl. What we are really looking for is whether there is difficulty in pulling up the square. If there is, then the force is not high enough. Once the square is removed, then go ahead and remove the triangle. Once it is removed, there should be a solid even scoring of the triangle on the liner. If the score line is not solid and perhaps has a couple gaps, then the force needs to be increased or the speed needs to be reduced. Next, take your hand and place it underneath the liner to the location of the test cut. Apply a little pressure and if it pops through easily, then the force is too high. If either the force or the speed needs to be adjusted, press either the 3 key for speed or the 4 key for force and change the setting. Try only increasing or decreasing the values by 1 and then repeat the test. As mentioned, the right arrow key will cut three patterns. Once this is pressed, this menu appears, allowing us to check force or offset. In most cases, force is the choice. The middle pattern is cut at the current force. The pattern to the left is cut with the current force minus one. And the pattern to the right is cut at the current force plus one. For example, if the force is set to 20, the middle pattern will be cut at force level of 20. The pattern to the left will be cut at the force level of 19. And the pattern to the right will be cut at the force level of 21. These two patterns, both the single copy and the three copies, are an easy way of testing material. What we suggest is that if you're new to the FC8600, Use the second test with the three patterns until you become more familiar with the cutting characteristics of the FC8600.